this dog dot here. There's a lot of good stag sign and Dotty's here scenting up this gully here. So I'm pretty sure there's a deer up there. It's only faint signalling at this stage, but fingers crossed we can get up here and if these marks are anything to go by it'll be a pretty good deer. Dotty's red eyed keen and it's pretty quiet underfoot but it's it's really thick, so we'll see what happens. So as we approach this deer from long range, let's take a second to consider what's happening as well as how my training approach is working for the dog and me in this scenario. But first, let's look at the physiology of this process. Firstly, we have a dog which has a nose, and that nose is finding information and losing information and finding information. And the nose passes that information onto the brain. And the brain then passes that information onto the legs and tells the legs which direction to go to help the nose continue to find that scent, which it is getting and then losing and then getting and then losing over this entire journey to find this deer. This is a cycle process, the nose, the brain, the legs, the nose, the brain, the legs. And here's where the training bit comes in. And this brings us to a very important point of the range we work our dog. Who knows best how to use the nose, brain, legs, nose, brain, legs cycle, us or the dog? Well, clearly the dog. So if we interfere with the dog's range, we are essentially interfering with its legs and its brain. And without the brain, which is recalling the dog or stopping its distance or throwing in a verbal command, we're interrupting the brain. And at the same time, we're interrupting the legs and what this will ultimately mean is a lot of deer are going to be lost because the nose can't do it all on its own and if you take away the dog's brain and the legs to any extent and you can't replace them with your own ability which let's be honest none of us can we are severely reducing the number of deer our dogs will ever find for us let's watch the rest of this video now and see it unfold for real with Dotty. And let's pay attention how she moves away, she stops, she moves back, side to side, all the way until she gets close enough to find and then lock onto this stag. Wow, what a night. Have a look at the dog. She's uh, pretty keen. I'll just let her go off and do whatever she wants at the minute because I've just shot a very nice stag, I'm pretty sure.
Oh wow. Get back. <laughs> <laughs>